everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kieran and this is Thrifted Living. So today we are going to be making a Dollar Tree crafting organizer and it's going to be a portable crafting organizer. So the first thing I bought are several of these stackable three tier planters. Let me move it a little closer so you can see what they look like. They have like little indents on them and you can just stack them just, just like this. You can stack them, you sort of alternate and then stack them like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and actually attach them to this planter trolley is what this is called. What's really cool is it has wheels on the bottom of it and it's almost the same color. And I'm actually planning on keeping this in the living room to have some crafting supplies right down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use some hot glue and I'm going to attach the planters like this onto the trolley and then what I'll be able to do is slide it around. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to fill it with some fun stuff to be able to craft downstairs. I'm thinking like like colored pencils, scissors, maybe some like t rolls of tape and things like that. I have eight of these, just one of one of these rollers. Um, I mean, tr plant plant trolleys. I have my hot glue and hot glue gun, like my glue sticks and my glue gun. And I also have some baby wipes and a towel because everything from the Dollar Tree, I don't know if it's like this for you guys, everything comes like super dusty. So I'm just gonna take a couple minutes and clean all of these. I think this is going to be a really quick and easy DIY, at least that's my hope. cleaned up all of these planters and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this trolley the plant trolley and I'm going to face it so that the wheels are like facing straight and that way when I put this on I'll be able to move it a forward motion because the wheels don't go side to side if they just move in one direction and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first planter the, the only one that's going to be attached to the base and I'm going to make it so that the wheel is in line with the, the this point of the planter and I have a hot glue gun that I'm going to use now I'm going to try to attach it so I'm just putting some glue here some glue here And some glue here. And let's see. I just tried lifting it up. I think maybe this side needs a little bit more. It's nice and attached to that. And now I can move it like this. So we have the bottom, like the most important part is attached to the trolley and we will start stacking these up. Now I'm going to take the base and add all of the other different levels to it. I wonder how tall it's going to be. So all I have to do is take it and then there are these little like indents right here and you alternate so this one will go opposite and then the next one and then that's just all you have to do to it to set these up i like this size too it's it's like a medium size and it's like super convenient It's looking so cool. And then one more right here. <gasps> Let's see if I can show you guys a little better. Like this is me sitting next to it. That is really cool. I'm gonna go get some stuff from the craft room and bring it down here to start filling up this craft room organizer. I just went up to the craft room and I have an entire bag full of stuff that I am going to try to organize in this, this little craft room organizer, portable craft room organizer. The first thing I have are some different sized knitting needles. We have all of these crochet hooks here. I don't think, oh, there's some in this one too. Now I think I'll do some yarn. fun crafting scissors. I 
think actually what I might do is get more yarn to go down there and do the embroidery floss up here. For down here, I might actually take the crochet hooks and move like these tiny knitting needles over here, take the crochet hooks, put them down there, and then have another row of yarn. I'm going to now start adding like colored pencils, markers, crayons, things like that up here. like my my sketchbook for like different ideas and then my planner so I'm like maybe they can sit right here I think that works this might be a little heavy so I think I'm just gonna leave my planner in there this is like my filming YouTube planner got some more yarn twistable colored pencils that I'm going to put in here I also just found a pair of scissors and a couple rolls of tape. So yay, I finished it. It looks so cool. I will show you guys all of the different features of this craft organizer. Here it is. I absolutely love how this portable crafting organizer looks. It was so much fun to make and honestly it was so easy and I love that I'm going to have this whole like crafting section downstairs because sometimes I'm like not as interested in crafting because I have to go upstairs and find everything but this is a great way to just have some things you know right on hand. So let me share with you all of the different parts of it. So I'll start at the top. So I have my planner. This is my YouTube like thrifted living social media planner right here. I have a bag of crayons and I'm excited to have them in, organized in this because I think it's just better to not have them all like kind of hanging out. I'm happy to have them contained in that. I have a pair of scissors, some mechanical pencils, a hole punch and a couple things of tape. Then if you look at the second level, I have paper mate tens. They're like markers, but they're very fine tip. And then if you come over here, I have twistable colored pencils which I'm really excited about. I think I'm probably gonna try to bring down some coloring books. I'm gonna come around this side now. I just have some pens right here. I might grab a couple other like different colors of pens, but you know, I had a few of these just downstairs, so I decided to put those there. On the third level, we have some markers. They are like the double tip markers. So one side is like a fine point and the other side is um, like a, a bigger point, not as fine point as these, but you know, they're just a little bit different in size. And I have them all, you know, uh, distributed throughout the organizer, which I think is nice because then it's not like too much in one where it's a little too full and you can't just like reach for one. I might try to organize them by color too at some point. Then on this next level, which is the fourth level, I have embroidery floss. All different styles and colors for friendship bracelets and needlepoint and things like that. On the fifth level I have some crafting scissors. They're the type that have like interesting patterns when you when you um cut with them. So I have three different sections of that. Here's another one and another one. The next two levels I actually have yarn. So right through here. I have at least two things of yarn in each, which I think works out really well because they're the smaller size. And then on the last row, I have some knitting needles and crochet hooks. And this has more knitting needles. And over here, there are some more. And just so you can see how it moves, 
actually just goes like this. Isn't that cool? So the wheels only let it go in one direction, but it's it's really not too hard to move it in other directions. I really love it. I think it looks super cool and I'm excited to have it downstairs. And that's it for today's Make It Monday. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I created this portable crafting organizer. I'm so excited to have it in our living room and be able to use it. I love how bright and colorful it is. This could be used for crafting stuff as I have it used here, but I think that you could use it in several different ways. In the comments, let me know how you guys would use this organizer. I think you could use it for like hair products. I think you could use it in the classroom, definitely, to organize supplies. And I just think the options are endless with it. So I'm really happy with how it looks and I'm excited to just have it down here in the living room to be able to use. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more Make It Mondays just like this, make sure you subscribe. I will be sharing Make It Mondays on Monday, a Dollar Tree related video on Wednesdays. Fridays will be a vlog and Saturdays will be a thrifting or a garage sale video. I'm really excited about this new schedule and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'm really excited to hear what you guys think about it. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!